Public Gamer here, and we're back with another video on how to install our newer update. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. So what you're going to want to do is, first off, you're in our Discord. Open that up. You're going to go in through here, and then go all the way up to where you see Add-on Information. Then hit Add-on Link. So then going to take you to here. You're going to click this. That blue text will take you right to it. Gotta wait for it to load up real quick. Apparently it's been slow. Alright, let's try this again. There it is, there we go. Alrighty, so then it'll take you straight to our add-on. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the very dainty bottom of the add-on. Where you'll see our newest version of it. Full screen that real quick right here now there's only actually four packs here guys so you have the pokemon awakening gym one block pack then you have the pokemon battle resource packs for the battle menu then you have the pokemon gen one pack that has all the gen one pokemon in it as well as the projectiles then you have the pokemon texture gen one pack which has the textures on it of course then you have the pokemon battle systems behavior pack so it's really not that many packs then once you download all of them, you're just going to come over here, you're going to double click them here, and then what's going to happen, because that's your download icon up there, then it's going to pull up Minecraft itself and install them. Now once that loads up and has those installed. There it goes, look at it go. It's loading. It's in the loading process. Yeah, good stuff. Eighty three percent, ninety percent. Oh oh we're there. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play. And we're gonna create a world. For those of you who need to create a new world, hit create new world. You're gonna come all the way down, change it to peaceful first off. Second off, go all the way down, okay, to the cheats setting. Turn cheats on. Scroll down, all the way down again. We're gonna go down to the experimental settings, down here at the bottom. Now, make sure you do this first before you apply the packs or the behaviors, or else this will not work correctly. So, turn on holiday creator. Turn on custom biomes, uh, creator features, beta APIs, move along features, move along, sorry, experimental cameras because it does use these features, okay? Now you don't need this, you don't have to have these. However, I do recommend, well, actually, no, I don't worry about that. This, you don't need to worry about those. So, go into behavior packs now. You're going to go and find set packs, which in your case, it won't be these newer packs here. It'll be these ones here that you downloaded. So, you're going to do the Blocks, well actually, hold on, let's see where You're gonna do the Pokemon Battle GUI first, okay? So then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go into your resources before you activate anything else, all right? Go into your own packs, go all the way down. Again, you're gonna look for the correct, well, let's see, I have two different ones, so. Okay, activate there, there you go. Now you just have those activated, and you're gonna go back to behaviors. Now I want you to go into behaviors and activate these. Okay, so first off, do your blocks pack. Oh, I think crash. Sorry, one sec. Go back into that again. Do it again. I haven't had that happen before in a long time. Probably could have Steam run it at the same time. Just exit that real quick. There we go. Solve that problem. Probably also because I have a whole bunch of stuff on here. I'll go to storage. If this sort of happens, you guys, this could help you too. Go storage, multi select. Um, let's see. No, I, should, I don't know why I did that. Alright, so go back in here. Let's get back to where we were at with creating our world. Peaceful. Um, cheats. Turn those on. Go down here. That's all good. Here, experiments. Turn on this. There we go, and on it goes, on, 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 all the way down, turn on the entire thing, all the way to the bottom, make that go away. Go up to behaviors now, go to here, this, 
activate your battle menu, go to your resources, make sure your resources activated. It's the first time I've ever had it do that to me, that was weird, guys. Go to behaviors, now what you're gonna do behaviors, so you're gonna go down and activate your block pack, then your texture pack, and your gen one pack. Now, this should put it in the correct order, so if it doesn't, oh, where's my block pack, why is that not activated? Oh, there it is, Gen 1 pack, there it is. Okay, so now it should be in the correct order. So it goes Poke Awakening Gen 1, number 1. Number 2, Poke Awakening Texture Gen 1. Number 2 spot. Number 3 spot, Poke Awakening Blocks Gen 1 pack. Number 4 spot, Pokemon Battle Up GUI pack. Alright? Should be the same of your resources. If it's not, see how it's all messed up? Your resources screwed, so you need to fix it. Go over to resources, drag this to the bottom like the other one. Okay? Next thing you're gonna need to do. Why do I have two block pack? Alright, that's fine. Alright, so go ahead, pull this to the top, put your block pack at the bottom, just like that. So you should have your Pokemon Awakening Gen 1 pack, Pokemon Awakening block pack, and then your texture pack, and then your battle GI. Um, don't worry about this, apparently I have activated my newer one on there too, but that's okay, we're not gonna worry. Same, same thing, same way you're gonna do it every time. Now we're going to hit create. If you're wanting on a realm, hit create on a realm. But if you don't, just hit create. My recommendation is to always create the world first. Never go directly to creating on a realm. Create your world first, then go to your realm, and then go down to worlds, and then hit import world, and then take it from on, on here. You don't want to ever do it reverse the, the reverse way because it's just not going to function correctly for you. That makes sense. What do I have running in the background that is hitting me so hard right now? I don't know what I have. I'll have to check that out. Something running in the background. Don't know what it is. I'll have to see what it is and close it off. Oh, boy, that's not happening. Do I have team chat on? That could be doing it. I don't know, I'll have to look later and see what it is. But now it should load us in, guys. So let's go ahead and let it load in. We're going to hit proceed. There we go, now we're in. So, and as you can see now that everything's in the right orders, Pokemon are spawning, there's a Vulpix doing a flip. There's a Charmander chilling over there. There you go, I got Magmar. Alrighty, and then we also got the Apricorns that are just chilling here that require you to use Bone Meal on them. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do slash give at self battle, I mean GUI, cause you need that. So you're going to give yourself your starter stuff for now, because I haven't coded it into the pack for it to auto-do that. Now you need your poke underscore coins, and you're supposed to start out with a total of 30 of those. Then you need to give yourself your uh, pokeball, pokeballs, and you should start out with, I believe I put 40 of those. And then one more thing you need to give yourself is your revives. And you're supposed to start out with 10 revives. There you go, now you've got your starter stuff, now you're ready to play. Oh, actually that's not true. Now we need to give ourselves an oak, because yeah, you need an oak. So now you give yourself the oak spawn egg, like that. There we go. Now we're going to go and place our oak down right here. We're going to talk to him. Let's see. Grab ourselves a... Grab ourselves a... Squirtle. Let's get a Squirtle. Okay, there you go. Now we got our Squirtle. Alright, bye Professor Oak. Have fun. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. And now we can battle Pokemon if we want to, or battle multiple at the same time. Um, let's find something that we can beat fairly easy. 
probably beat you guys easily. <laughs> Go, Squirtle! Now what you're gonna do is hit your battle menu on the ground, hit wild battle. There you go. Now once you've done that, you can start using your attacks. See, like tackle. And then as you can see, after you select your move, they will do their moves. As you can see, your health up there has been damaged because you did a move. As you can see, when that happened, when they hit you normally, it does no damage to you or to your Pokemon. So now we're gonna hit, we're gonna um, back over our Pokemon to hit them pretty far from us. Use tackle. Go, Squirtle. Again. Yeah. Take him down. Take him down, Squirtle. Don't let them treat you like their doll. All right, we did it. Now we're gonna go ahead, go to reset view, pick up our goodies because we beat them. So we got EXP candy. Then we're gonna go ahead and return our squirrel. So we're gonna hit bag, return Pokemon, Squirtle, confirm. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, our Squirtle is back in our inventory and ready to go for another battle. Now, um, if you guys look in the chat, you can see that it says what moves we used. Don't worry, this isn't gonna spam your server like you would think it would. We have it set to where it only says this in a 10 block radius. So anybody in a 10 block radius who's watching the battle can see this, can see what moves you're using. They can see you return your Pokemon. They can see you throw a Pokeball. And we did that on purpose. We want people to be able to see if they're watching a tournament or something for servers, because I'm sure servers will enjoy other people to be able to actually see what's going on. Instead of having to walk up, click on you and click view match, you know, it's, it's just better if you can just watch it without having to do that. So, now what we're going to do, guys, is when we get nine of these EXP candies, uh, we'll then be able to craft ourselves. Oh, I need a, uh, oh, we need a crafting table real quick. Crafting table. Yay! All right, there we go. Open that up. Now we're going to go ahead and rare candy. So see rare candies take nine EXP, it takes nine. And then once you craft rare candy, then you can go ahead, we'll do this. So we'll do Squirtles. So then you can level up your Squirtle by putting a captured Squirtle in there with a rare candy, doesn't matter how you put them in there. And then you can level it up to a level five. So every time you use a rare candy, your Pokemon goes up five levels. And that's how that works. You use the EXP that you earn from battling to make yourself some rare candies to then level up your Pokemon. And then once your Pokemon levels up to a certain level, it will automatically evolve itself. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how that works, guys. Alrighty, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And also keep in mind, guys, if you're using the battle menu and you have two captured Pokemon within a five block radius of each other, the menu will not know who to select to tell you what moves, uh, what moves set to pull up on your screen. So be careful of that, be mindful of that. Um, now, when the PVP one is set up, that won't be a problem. But for the wild one, that's that's something you need to look out for as other players have their Pokemon within five blocks of you. Uh, but if you're doing a PvP battle, you don't have to worry about that. But if PvP is not set up yet, once it is, then you know that'll be a thing. And then reset view, like I said, is literally just to reset your view after you've done this. So if you walk up, hit wild battle, boom! Your camera's been changed for the fight to look over both Pokemon. So you reset view and you don't want to be like that anymore. Alrighty guys, that pretty much sums up this. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe and also to hit that notifications guys. And we will see you next time. Let's go!